Oh, Mesías, nos enseñaste el fruto del Islam. Welcome to the picturesque country of Guatemala, located in Central America, a nation of rich history and culture. But despite its breathtaking scenery, Guatemala is not without its own problems, particularly in the area of healthcare. Each year, more Guatemalans are killed by diabetes than by homicide. Meanwhile, the maternal mortality rate in Guatemala is nearly 10 times what it is in the United States. To address these issues, the global charity Humanity First has been running makeshift camps in the country for a number of years. As time progressed, however, the need for a long-term strategy became more apparent. In the medical missions, it was not a very, uh, you know, a continuity of care and we don't, do not have too many facilities to serve like diagnostic services and all the services available. It was a very basic medical mission uh, and I always uh, felt the need of improvement. In 2015, uh, June of 2015, I was asked by Humanity First USA to come and visit and look for a possible um, project here in the country. Initially, we started looking at uh, a suitable site. And uh, this site was, of course, chosen because of a number of reasons. It is on Inter-American Highway, which is the world-famous landmark. And also, it is uh, near to affluent community of San Lucas and Mexico. Also, it is near to the gateway of underserved communities of Guatemalan indigenous people. So it was sort of an ideal place where we could put uh, this hospital. In October of 2018, the head of the worldwide Ahmadiyya Muslim community, His Holiness, Hazrat Mirza Masroor Ahmad, may Allah be his helper, undertook a tour of the United States, which would also include a historic visit to Guatemala. After years of fundraising, construction, and final preparations, the momentous day had finally arrived for the official inauguration of the hospital. So any inauguration, especially of a project of this stature and size and where so many people have given the donations, in itself is a, is a huge event. But when Hazrat Khilifat al-Masi comes on, on, an, uh, on an event like this, then it just changes its class altogether. The effort of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community to serve humanity in all parts of the world are entirely motivated out of a desire to ease the suffering of mankind. And this is why Humanity First is today opening its first hospital in this part of the world. With all my heart, I hope and pray that it fulfills its mandate and proves an exceptional means of alleviating the suffering of people, regardless of their religious beliefs, regardless of their age, and regardless of their ethnic or social backgrounds. Since that blessed day in October of 2018, the Nasser Hospital has served hundreds of patients in its first few months, with many traveling great distances to benefit from this world-class facility. This is a, a U-arm digital x-ray unit and this we got directly from China and we were able to get a very good deal and they were very pleased to do it for us because uh, they wanted an entry into the Central American uh, market. That is how we, we were able to upgrade much of the equipment uh, in the hospital. They have equipos very buenos, very modern, of high alta gama. Eh, y pues estoy muy contenta de, de ser la encargada actualmente de, de este laboratorio y, y de, de manejarlos, digamos. The investment in the lab is very necessary, not only because it generates revenue, but it, it is a, 
It is a place where the right decisions could be made for the health care of a patient, uh, which helps us to uh, generate revenue and spend it on the patients who are underserved. So anything we make is being spent on those patients who would otherwise not think of going to a quality healthcare laboratory. Eh, el equipo está muy feliz de trabajar acá. El Hospital Nasir para nosotros es como casa, es nuestro segundo hogar. Todas las, el equipo médico y el equipo administrativo tiene una relación muy buena. Eh, cada día que un paciente que entra para nosotros es eh, una persona que tiene que salir satisfecha de acá. Eh, nos hace muy feliz poder trabajar eh, en un ambiente donde tenemos todo lo necesario para ejercer nuestra práctica. Eh, Entonces estamos muy satisfechos y muy felices con, con las instalaciones, con el lugar y pues con la, con la comunidad por tener esta institución acá en Guatemala. Within the first few months of its inauguration, the hospital has already exceeded its own targets in terms of the number of patients that have been treated and the revenue that has been generated. These profits are invested back into the hospital to subsidize the cost of treatment for those patients who would have otherwise been unable to afford it. Una atención de primera, la verdad que aprovecho también para agradecerles, de verdad, y, y que Dios bendiga a la gente que, que se inspiró en hacer este proyecto y la gente que está aquí activa realmente, verdad, porque todos los proyectos siempre he aprendido en la vida que pueden ser grandes proyectos, pero si la gente que está operando O sea, ejecutando, estando al frente, no la es, pero la verdad es que los proyectos tienen algo. Pero hay un buen equipo de personas, desde los médicos, enfermeros y todos. Y yo voy muy complacido, muy agradecido. Y de verdad, los felicito y que sigan adelante. Day by day, we're getting more and more big. So we expect that uh, the hospital uh, gets more patients every day and helps more people all the time. So right now, we're just in the beginning. We expect that here in one year, uh, we're going to have enough for all the patients that uh, we hope that we will have in the hospital. Ah, yo creo que el hospital va a ir cada día creciendo, va a ser algo mucho mejor. El hospital creo que va a ser no solo conocido a nivel de la comunidad, sino que a nivel nacional. Eh, yo lo veo que va muy muy deprisa, con pasos, a, eh, con pasos grandes para ser mejor todavía y yo creo que no se va a dar abasto. Y pues la relación ha sido muy buena hasta el día de hoy, pues mantenemos una muy buena relación, muy buena comunicación, ¿verdad? Y yo creo que la institución hizo su mayor esfuerzo para poder eh, tener realizado este sueño, ¿verdad? Que como institución también es importante para ellos poder proyectarse a la comunidad y para nosotros pues tener el beneficio que hoy estamos viviendo día a día. I will venture to say that this is not an ordinary hospital. It is unique in many ways. It is unique in the way it came about. It is unique how it was funded. It is unique in how this will operate. Having built this institute, this will not be the end of our services to this country. Rather, it is my prayer that this proves to be the first of many humanitarian projects established by Humanity First in this region.